Hey Virgo, happy Thursday to you. Uh, I don't normally lay the cards out before um, before I start before I start the reading. You all, you know, I always shuffle because I have to keep my hands busy. Um, but I was going to do a short. So many cards fell out, so I'm just going to use this as a regular reading. I have the Wheel of Fortune, the Two of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, the Ace of Cups, the Tower, and we got um, the Ace of Wands followed by the, the Hierophant. OK, um, there's something uh, someone coming into your life that I feel is going to marry you or you're going into somebody's life and you're going to marry them. All right. Well, you get the gist. But you've been in a relationship before that you really cared about this person. But that was a real codependent connection that you were in. OK, a, re a really, really unhealthy relationship. And it left you. I'm hearing sour. <laughs> it left you sour. And I feel like you possibly still have feelings for this person. And you ask yourself, why, how can I possibly still have feelings for that butthole after he did or she did so many things to me? I feel like you're just feeling lost and a little down. You know, um, maybe you feel like, damn, why do I still have feelings for this person? As, as bad as they treated me, how can I possibly love this person still or have, or excuse me, <clears throat> or have feelings for this person still? All right. We have the, the Wheel of Fortune and we got the Ace of Cups. So I see your life moving. I feel like the seasons in your life are changing, but they're changing for the best. I'm hearing that song, Seasons Change, I think by... I always get the Jets confused with this other group. Hold on. Seasons Change. Expose. Oh, y'all. This song, I used to love this song back in the day. <laughs> Seasons Change by Ex Expo Expose. I'm going to put that song in the comments for you all to listen to. But your seasons of, are changing. I mean, the season of love is upon you. It's like love is getting ready to knock on that motherfucking door. If I go open the door for this love that's coming into your life. I feel like you're kind of all out of whack when it comes to your mindset, when it comes to love and relationships, you may be not wanting to get to know someone. Um, and I got the two of the pinnacles here because you've been through some stuff in relationships. We've all had some real shitty relationships. My gosh, you know, how could you ever love again? How could you ever allow someone? I feel like who's ever coming into your life, they're a very loyal individual. They're very loyal, very caring, very loving, very tender. I just did a short in the, the song I heard in that one was Time, Love and Tenderness by Michael Bolton. I'll also put that one in the comments for you. Season, I'm sorry, uh, Seasons Change by Expose, Time, Love and, and Tenderness by Michael Bolton. But I feel like what that person did to you in the past, it just devastated you. All right. I feel like they really messed things up for you mentally and emotionally too, possibly even physically. But you got a stable connection coming in, somebody who you're going to be tied to for, for your, for life, for the rest of your life. This is a stable relationship. I feel like this person is going to be very sexual with you. Um, just very intense. I feel like this is going to be an intense connection for you. And I just feel like you two are just going to marry each other. You want to get married? Like sitting at the table or, or on the, sitting on the bed or on the couch somewhere watching TV. And all of a sudden, Hey, can I ask you something? Yeah. You want to get married? Do you want to get married? Yeah, let's get married. You know, it, it's, it's, it's going to be something spontaneous about their proposal. It's like when it's going to be different, you know, than what you've ever experienced or what you've ever seen. Okay. Whew. We got the six of swords followed by the nine of pentacles. Yeah, I just think that there's a lot of things that you're going through. And this is you re your life returning to a state of harmony. You haven't been in a, in a comfortable state of harmony in a long, long time. All right. There's too many. So I'm going to, this one fell out on top. I'm going to keep it. Um, the five of pentacles here. You know, uh, I feel like you've been in a lot of unstable relationships and people have turned their backs on you. You wanted people around. You've been there for people. But when they needed you, you weren't there, especially in relationships, especially love. You know, you've left fending, fending for yourself because, you know, those people that, that that you give so much to love and honor and respect and that tenderness, they don't give it back to you. It's not being reciprocated. And it, that's, it makes it really hard for you to love somebody. As a matter of fact, the card that I have here under on the bottom of the deck is engagement. 
Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Listen, <laughs> excuse me. It's been a long, long time coming. I've been talking about love coming for you all for a long, long time. Excuse me, <clears throat> for a long, long time. And I'm thinking, and I'm feeling that it's really, really close. It's really, really close. Marriage is really close. But you got to free yourself. Be open to love. Be open to meeting someone who... Um, who is not your usual type. I'm, I'm smiling because, yeah, I got my reasons. <laughs> so, no, I'm not talking to anybody, but there is somebody I got my eye on. You know how sometimes you think somebody got their eye on you and he was looking at me today, y'all, on the elevator. When I was on the elevator, I'm like, okay. Mm, I, I pee, I'm peeping that energy. I feel you. Very nice guy. Very nice guy, you know. And I've also been mentioning that possibly he will he he or she, whoever you meet, is different than what you're used to. This person is different. They're a different race. <laughs> but I saw him looking at me today. I'm like, okay, I know that energy when I feel it. Uh-huh. So we got a high repent. Um, and we got engagement. I feel like this next person that's coming into your life is gonna ask for your hand in marriage. I, I just feel like it's going to be a unique way. That he proposes or she you know proposes or it or initiates uh the proposal okay if you know somebody right now does this person like you if you know somebody or are interested in someone do they feel the same way about you we got justice six of the six of wands so i just feel like this person um is you know, they're possibly are digging on you. They, I feel like they want you to see them. They want you to know that they are interested in you. Like, here I am. You know, I'm very interested in you, you know. And they may not say nothing, but you may feel that energy. You may feel the energy that they that they like you. We got separation. This is you separating yourself from what no longer serves you, those past relationships, to open you up for marriage. Okay. We got marriage. We got the whole kid and caboodle. We got engagement. We got hierophant. We got marriage. We got romantic feelings, freeing yourself uh, from what no longer serves you, those past relationships that you've been in. But I feel like this wedding is coming your way. This situation is, in, is involves it. It involves a marriage. OK, I just saw his face in my in my head. That's why I'm kind of like hesitating. But yeah, nice looking guy, too. You know, I've never dated outside my race. But love is love, okay? No matter who it is, all right? Maybe an experience. Okay, I'm hearing another song. Hold on. Um, I need love. LL Cool J, that's the song I'm hearing. So you have three songs to listen to. Let's put one more message. Virgo. Upcoming marriage proposal for Virgo. We got bad health. And uh, I got lovers as well as in prison. So some of you all are staying inside a little bit too much, uh, staying inside a little bit too much, probably getting outside and shaking the tail feather, getting going for a walk out there and, and grounding yourself. You may end up meeting this person at a park. OK, I'm also hearing in my head a local eatery. Literally, I just heard a local eatery. OK, um, I feel like you're possibly not feeling your best, but I feel like that's just you being sheltered, you know, like the stick and shut in in church, you know, uh, but this is different. I feel like this is just you not wanting to go out. Maybe you are sick. If you are, I hope you feel better. But this is more so that you're feeling like you're locked in, like you're being caged in, like there's no way for you to get out. Like I'm tired of struggling. It's all about the struggle. It's all about what you're going through. But honestly, I feel like you got somebody coming into your life. And that may be different. You know, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Maybe you were raised that, that you... I uh, can't date outside your race or you 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 made a decision. I'm going to do this. I'm going to date that kind of person. I like tall men or tall women, thin men, heavyset women, whatever. But it's different. I feel like whatever, whoever this person is coming into your life, they're totally different. And look, this could be the one. Some of you have already met the romantic partner you're seeking. They're already there. If you haven't met them formally, they're going to introduce themselves to you. Mm-hmm. Get ready, Virgo. Get ready for a, a get ready for a marriage proposal in your future.
All right. And look for those songs in the comments. I'm going to put them in there. I Need Love by L.L. Cool J. Time, Love, and Tenderness by Michael Bolton. I love me some Michael Bolton, by the way. You know that. And um, Seasons Change by Expose. I feel like I'm a radio host. But anyway, talk to you later.